Hello, my name is Walter Unglob, and this is Physics of Getting Punched. So here we have a little picture of a man who's about to get punched by this fist. And when considering the physics of getting punched, there's two types of collisions that one can consider. We can either consider an elastic collision, in which the fist comes in, hits the head, and bounces off, or an inelastic collision, in which the fist comes in, connects with the head, and remains connected to the head as both the head and the fist keep moving. So in both elastic and inelastic collisions, the total momentum is conserved. However, only in elastic collisions is the total kinetic energy of the two objects conserved. In an inelastic collision, part of the energy of the fist is transferred into the head and the body of the person as heat energy, for example. So let's consider a mass of the head to be, say, 5 kilograms, and a mass of the fist and part of the arm to be equal to 3 kilograms. And let's say that the fist and the arm are coming in for the punch with a velocity of approximately 25 meters per second. So this is a very fast punch. And we want to consider an elastic collision. So here, the kinetic energy of the fist, now all well, total kinetic energy because the head is initially not moving, is going to be given as 1 half mass of the fist times velocity of the fist squared. So if we plug in these numbers into this expression, we'll get a total kinetic energy of approximately 937.5 joules. And if all of this energy is transferred to the head, then we would get a velocity of, for the head of approximately 19 meters per second. If we're considering an elastic collision, then we have total momentum conserved as well. So we would have mass of the head times the initial velocity of the head plus mass of the fist times the initial velocity of the fist being equal to the mass of the head times the final velocity of the head plus mass of the fist times final velocity of the fist. So initially the head isn't moving so the momentum is zero. So we have an equation that we can solve for the final velocity of the head. And when we do this, we end up with a velocity of 15 meters per second. So this number is different than this number because of the difference between these types of collisions. Here, if I try to solve for the velocity of the kinetic energy, I have to remember that for an inelastic collision, the total energy is not conserved. However, this is a more accurate way to determine the velocity if one considers an elastic collision. And if the change in velocity of the head goes from 0 to 15 meters per second in a short amount of time, then this is a very large acceleration. So if the amount of time delta t is short enough, then this energy, this amount of momentum transferred to the head would be enough to knock this person out. Or if it's a very small amount of time, possibly kill them. My name is Walter Unglob, and this is Physics of Getting Punched. Mm -hmm.